Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we did Vamina's Daedric Shrine quest, and we had to retrieve her orb from some evil sorcerer who'd stolen it and was using it to basically put his mind in oblivion, I think. It was very strange, and his house was all trippy, there was giant furniture, there was monsters everywhere. It was a really cool quest, never actually done it before. The reward didn't seem that great, it's like a staff with a skull on the end that causes some weird stuff to happen, so we might give that to Martin to destroy it. I don't know, I guess we shall see. Anyway, what up with you, buddy? You dare come here to the shrine of our lord? You are not one of us. <gasps> Racist, sir. Just because I'm not an orc, how dare you? I guess you haven't heard. We don't like the beautiful people. But maybe you can persuade me you're ugly inside. Well, I am rather dashing, and I am ugly inside. I guess you haven't heard. Yeah, shit. Do I have to pay you money? Say what you're going to say. You're an ugly shade of green and your nose is too big. Every little bit helps. Yeah, I'll bet it would help me more if I didn't have to give it to you, you greedy son of a bitch. I, I really hate the bribery system in Oblivion. Like, it's one of the things that really bothers me about the game. I just have to waste tons of money on dicks like this. You're not one of Malakoth's favorite people. He likes orcs. Too bad for you. So you approach his shrine at your own risk. No shit up. I'm guessing if we were an orc, we wouldn't have to bribe him, but we're not, so we did, so whatever. Then go on and do your approaching. But Malakath wants a present. He likes troll fat. And he likes only troll fat. Oh, well, la de da for him. He has an acquired taste, apparently. Test. Here's the problem. We have troll fat, but I don't think I'm carrying any, so I'm pretty damn sure... Yes. I gotta go get some out of the house. Son of a bitch. I'll be right back. Okay, troll found acquired, let's talk to this bastard. Hey buddy, how's it going? You brought a present? Good, that's smart. Flattery will get you everywhere. You want something? And if you're smart, you do what I tell you. Well go on then, I'm listening. Lord Drad took my ogres, says he owns them. Lying maggot, they're my ogres! He's kidnapped Shrek, you son of a bitch. Lord Dread put my little brothers in chains, working in the mines. I don't like that. Me either, Shrek's cool. Get over to Lord Dread's estate. Let my ogres loose and get them out. Okay, get going. All right, buddy, jeez. Relax. Okay, so we gotta free some ogres. Yeah. Uh, for a second there, I don't know why I was thinking ogres were orcs, but they're the, uh, the ginormous things that punch me to death all the damn time. So yeah, apparently we have to rescue some of them from Lord Drad's estate, which I thought we'd already found it, but apparently we haven't, so... It's pretty damn close, let's just run there on foot. It should just be over in this direction. I see a boar down here. What's up, boar buddy? Well, I completely missed where that's. Aha! Uh -huh. Stones of justice. <laughs> Oh man, that was amazing. 10 out of 10. Best spell ever. But yeah, anyway, as I mentioned, at some point Oblivion's gonna have to slow down so we can do some other games. But like I say, at no point am I gonna stop Oblivion. We are gonna finish this game. So yeah, I don't know exactly when we're gonna slow down. Maybe after we finish the Dungeons of Avelin mod, like, we gotta do some of the Data Trends, then we're gonna do the Dungeons of Avelin, which isn't super long. It's like a few hours, I think. But like I mentioned, it's kind of like a, a, an amnesia-ish horror mod, and you get tons of great booty out of that. So yeah, probably gonna do that, and then Oblivion might slow down after we finish that mod. That's kind of the plan for now, but it might change. Hello? Lord Dread, where the hell are you? Oh, he's over there. Get out of running, <laughs> running in midair. <laughs> I welcome you to my humble home, stranger. What brings you to this place? Will, a Daedric Lord told me you have some ogre slaves. <laughs> Is this true? Can you think of a better use for the mindless beasts? Under my eye, they do some good in this world. You know what? You got a point. I don't like ogres in this game. They're all dicks to me. Besides Shrek, I admire your efforts, sir. I am quite pleased with the ogre slaves in my bleak mind. No issues of slavery with brute beasts. Profitable and legal. Well, it sounds like everything's above board here, so... I guess I should really leave you alone. It would be nice if there was some kind of... See, here's the thing. I don't really necessarily know that it would be an evil option not to help this guy. Because we're working for a Daedric Lord, so... 
surely this is evil, uh, what we're doing here, because ogres, they're not inherently good, they're, they all attack me, you know, they kill things. So yeah, I, I don't know, it'd be nice if there was an option to side with Lord Drad, but there's no. So yeah. Greetings, traveler. What is your business here? What's up, girl? How are you doing? T tell me about your husband. He is my husband, a kind and gentle man. He has given me everything I might ever desire. I've just realized you have purple hair. It's kind of funky. Tell me about the estates. Drod purchased the land and title from council. It cost him a fortune, and he's determined to make it pay. Yeah, you best believe there's a price to pay, saying. Bam, 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 bam. Get out of the way, Lord Dread. Jesus, dude. I'm trying to bust your ogre slaves out. You could at least, you know, get out of the way so I can do that. My God. Okay, so apparently we're going over in this direction over here. Is that over there? I think I see a cave. Yeah, that seems to be it. Wow, you keep your cave of ogre slaves really close to your house. I feel like that's just a bad idea all around. Really, I have to... Oh my god. Thankfully, we have the skeleton key. And yes, I can actually remember the name now. Progress is being made. Oh, okay, I thought the game froze for a second there. Hello, how's it going? Are you aggressive? Well, oh, well, yes you are. Took your time. <laughs> I just love the AI. Like, you walk in, there's three dudes fully clad in armor in a building that's supposed to be locked where they're keeping secret slaves. And they're like, Wait a second. You're not supposed to be. <laughs> Damn, I love the AI, man. It's amazing. Like, horribly bad, and that's why it's amazing. How are you still alive? Damn, you were a tank, sir. Key word there. Were a tank. Because you did. And we got the key to the cell. Well, that was easy. Oh, hello. How's it going, buddy? Oh, je oh, jeez. Okay, it was not as easy as I was thinking. Apparently, there's a ton of them. She even... Why are you staring at me? She even aggroed on me. God freaking damn it, she even... God freaking damn it. Okay, let's try this again. But I really don't know how I keep aggroing she even. I also really don't know what the hell this stuff is supposed to do. Like, it seemed to have cloned that guy. But, like, half the time I use it, it doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe it's just got like a small. Uh, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Oh god. I had like maybe it's got a small chance of cloning them or something. But like that's all it does. It's kind of novel, I guess. But yeah, I really. Do oh jeez. I really don't mind too much about giving that to Martin for him to destroy it, and I think I just bashed the maid. But the maid, bless her, she doesn't really ever get aggroed on me, and I, I kick her ass fairly often. She also kicks mine. I. Please tell me Sheevan's not aggroed on me again. She was looking at me funny. So I'm, I'm gonna have to ask that you die. We got things to do, we have to bust ogres ourselves. Oh. Sir, sir, you're not dying. Thank you! My, my god! Okay, I'm guessing that's not everyone, but like, god damn! Okay, we got the keys, and she even actually doesn't seem to be trying to murder me horribly! Which is a good start. And you have the same key. Not gonna bother to take that, because I don't think we're gonna need replicas. And yeah, there's silver ore in here. It's one of those weird things about Oblivion. You get like random caves where you can just get silver and gold ore. Uh, nuggets, but... Yeah, usually, if you don't have any mods, that stuff does literally nothing, and it's worth like 20, 25 gold a piece or something. So it's not even worth taking it to sell it. Are you gonna attack me? You are not. Good, I was gonna say, because I'm gonna save you, and if you try... See, here's the thing, I'm wondering. Surely we could just murder them. And then, would we just fail the Daedric Shrine quest? Would we still get the reward? I don't know. Maybe the only requirement is that you let them out of the cells. Maybe you can kill them after that. I'm not going to, because... I'm lazy, basically. But yeah, how the hell did they even get out? I... I don't get it. There's like a... What the hell? Why is it like a dead bandit in here? And they... How did that happen? I don't understand. Hey, we found a chest. Is this the bandit's chest? It is. And we got a Daedric Mace. That makes me happy. This is weird, man. Like... What? what? Okay, wait a minute. First of all, why is there a bandit in here? And second of all, why does this bandit have a chest? Like, that's weird enough. Like, this is this is a dude's slave place. Why is our bandit here with its own chest and everything? That's just really weird. But moreover than that, yeah, you're gonna attack me, aren't you? Don't you son of a bitch. Moreover than that, how did the bandit get in the cell? I'm assuming the ogres murdered the bandits. But then how did the ogres get out of the cell? Because I got the key. Like, that's really weird. Like, what am I here for if they can just get out anyway? I don't understand what the hell is going on with this quest. It's very strange. And I, oh, there you are. I was gonna say, I thought I lodged the maid in the wall. I'm trying to look at this dude's sword and see if his shield's around here anywhere, because he had a shield. And I don't see it. It was an ebony shield, and I kind of won that, but 
It seems to have disappeared into space and time because I probably sent it into the or uh, yeah, I probably sent it into orbit with a tornado, so. Yeah, let's it's around here so it's bound to be here somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is. So I guess we lost that shield. It's kind of really annoying. That was our first ebony shield. I was excited. Oh hello. How's it going? You wanna die? I thought so. Or you know, you could just completely ignore me and go for the mate. I just hit the maid with it. I'm sorry. Oops. I, I hit everybody. I, I can't see the guy in the lady one. <laughs> Oh, and Shivan's hitting me. Shivan, please tell me you're not aggroed at me again. I think she's okay. Jeez, and why does this dude have like a... An elven battle axe? You are behind the times, sir. People are dropping Daedric and Ebony all over the place. Take your stinking elven and get out of my sets. And then, yeah, the still mace can also kiss my ass. Okay, we found some more ogres. I'm an ogre. I'm assuming these are the last of them. Because, yeah, I don't know where else we haven't been. I don't know. Okay, and again, they don't seem to be attacking me. Is there anything in here? Nope, pretty shitty cell. I have freed all the ogres in the Blink Mine. I shall return to the Shrine of Malagath. Okay, let's do that. If you know they ever get out of the damn way. Thank you. Okay, hey, Lord Dread's digging and the ogres are running around. Oh, his wife's over there as well. Sure. Wait, what the hell are they doing? They're doing like some weird ogre dance. This is creeping me the balls out. Please, I've got to get to work. If I don't, who knows what those ogres will do to me? No, oh, okay, I get it. So the master has become the slave. Now my poor husband is the slave, and the ogres are his masters. They haven't harmed us, but he's never worked so hard in his life. <laughs> I feel like I did a bad thing, and that makes me happy. I wonder if you're, okay, you can't talk to that guy. It'd be really cool if one of the ogres was like more intelligent than the other ones and you could go speak to him and he was like the one giving the commands. And in fact, can you speak to this guy? No, oh, you can't. But yeah, he's, he's, he almost seems like he's guarding the, what the hell? He almost seems like he's guarding the house, which is apparently still kind of, you know, forbidden territory. Well, anyway, uh, let's just go back to the shrine. What up, Malakath? I'm back in record time. Good job! No one owns ogres but me! And I fixed that maggot. The ogres own drag. Make drag eat death. <laughs> <laughs> now you get a present. Keep up the good work and be nice to my little brothers. Keep killing every damn ogre I see, I'll do it. I will do it. And we got Volendrung, which is a two-handed warhammer, I believe. I remember getting that in Skyrim as well. And yeah, it's a blunt weapon. We are good with blunt weapon. That thing looks tiny for a warhammer. Look at it. It's like Thor's major hammer. It looks cool and everything, don't get me wrong, but it just looks very small for a two-handed hammer. But uh, yeah, so it's a really good weapon if you're using blunt. We're bad with blunt. We're only good with blade. However, we're going to bash this dude's brain dings. <laughs> This is gonna be good. I want to see what it's like. That's right, get him, Shadow yeah. Mirror. And you know, Sheevan, you could... Look, the maid is helping me, Sheevan. We're murdering innocents, I know, but still. You could at least help. Warhammer of Justice. Yeah. Hey, he finally died. Holy shit. I only took like four of us beating him up for about 20 minutes. Really, I missed. P pretend you didn't see that, buddy. Ah. Wait, what? You resisted? Why did you resist? Oh, you didn't resist that time. Oh, interesting. So maybe enemies have a chance of resisting. Why do I never resist it? And I just smack Shadowmere in the face. I'm sorry. I swear to God I didn't mean to you, but you keep getting your giant horse head in the way. It's very hard to aim. <laughs> and he is dead. Okay, I guess we'll leave the other guy alone. And Shadowmere is down, but I don't think Shadowmere can die in this game. I hope. It's uh, Okay, it was fine. But yeah, I reloaded it anyway just because, you know. You never know what kind of shit that's gonna get us into by killing innocents, because a god's probably gonna try and arrest me, and it's just damn annoying. Anyway, so let me try and find another shrine, and we will continue. Okay, after much walking, I have finally found the Shrine of Azura. So let's try and speak to you, you. You have entered a holy place. What is your business here? I want to talk to Azura, duh. These are dark times, and people's minds are poisoned by rumors and superstition. Unless you can persuade me of your good intentions, I cannot speak further on this matter. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to bribe right. you as well, aren't I? Fine, just take for, my stinking for, money. I'll take There. It. Is and that enough? This is the Shrine of Azura, 
queen of the dawn and the dusk. What is your business here, traveler? Bro, we just went over this. I want to speak to Azura, you incompetent tits. If you wish to speak to the lady, visit her shrine at dawn or dusk. Leave her an offering of glow dust, and perhaps she will deign to speak with you. <laughs> well, she damn well better. Here's a problem. I don't think I'm actually carrying any glow dust. And yeah, we need to get some to use it on the shrine, and we have to be here at dawn or dusk. Do I have any on me? No, I don't. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I gotta go get some out of the damn house again. I will be right back. Oh yeah, I got the glow dust, and I do believe it is dusk. Uh... Wait, what? It's the right time. Is it... No, uh. I'm a moron. Dusk... <laughs> It's six. Oops. For some reason, dawn and dusk in my brain to me means 12, but it's actually six. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay, I got the glow dust. Hello. I have seen your name, Traveler, and heard it whispered in twilight. I ask a service which holds promise of fame and reward. Fame and booty? Now you're talking my language. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire Dratic. And its kin, but all were infected by the foul creature. Ah, I remember this quest. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on me. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, and you shall earn my gratitude. No problem, baby. Bringing the peace of death is one idea. That and Robin. I was gonna say I'm murdering, but that's exactly what that is. Good work, brain. Okay, so, uh, the gutted mine is over yonder. Have we... we haven't already found it. Son of a biscuit. Okay, I found a random oblivion portal on top of this hill, and apparently the mine's around Whoa. here somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. It's... it's like right here according to the compass. Did I miss something up with unique, uh, unique landscapes and bury it or something? Hello? Where's the entrance to the mine? Oh. The call it to my oh, there it is! Oh, thank God for that. And yes, I probably walked past that several times. <laughs> it's one idea. Oh okay, yeah, so... Yeah, I do believe we just basically have to kill a bunch of vampires in here. That's really all there is to this quest. Some of the Daedric Shrine quests are kind of very basic and not that interesting. Kind of like the Ogre one, really. But I do like the storyline with that, like the fact that they're slaves and... That the master becomes the slave. It's kind of cool, but this one, it's literally like, go in, kill five vampires, or six or something, and then just come back out again. That's all there is to it, so. Yeah, we should be able to bust this one out fairly quickly, which is probably a good thing, because we're probably about due to end the video now anyway, and then next time we can maybe do some more shrine quests, and then, like I say, I think we'll move on to the dungeons of a villain. And yes, I know there has been some suggestions for quest mods. We will cover those, after uh, those afterwards. Trust me. It's gonna happen. Oh, there you are. Yeah. I, everybody's everywhere. Kill the monk person. I don't trust monks. Or barbarian. Whatever the hell you are. Wow, you... You melted. Ah, oh, this reminds me. It's a good point, actually. We have vampire dust. I can't remember how much the dude was paying. It was like... I think it... I feel like it was 50, but I also feel like it was a lot more than that. Like, I think I expected it to be 50 that the dude was paying. He was paying like 150 each or something. And we have like a butt ton of vampire dust now. Which, even at this point in the game, it's probably worth me going back and selling it to him, because... Or giving it to him, whatever you want to call it, because... Yeah, we are... We're kind of poor for the stage in the game, and there's a lot of shit I want to buy, so... Yeah, I think when we're done here... Okay. Random ball and chain. When we're done here, I will probably go sell that dude the vampire dust, because I don't think we're going to need it for anything, and like I say, it should bring in at least a few grand, which at this point, we have less than 20, so that's still good. I seem to recall there was some kind of secret wall around here somewhere, and that was the way you get to the rest of the vampires. But I can't find it. I swear it's around here somewhere, though, but I... Did we go this way? No, we didn't, because it's going down. Hello? Oh, there's... Is that a skeleton? You're not a vampire! Okay. Oh no, it is a vampire. Okay, it's just an extremely thin person wearing no pants. What can I say? I'm blind and for a second you'll look like a skeleton to me. <laughs> and you are very comically posed. Oh great, more coffins to disappoint me with their absolutely terrible loots. 
And yeah, I don't know where the secret entrance is. And no, we're not even going to loot the coffins. It's tempting. But I don't want to be disappointed again by just how terrible they are, so... We're just going to ignore them. But yeah, I'm looking around for like a, a pool chain or like a secret wall or something. I don't see anything. But I know there's a secret something around here somewhere. Because that's where the last of the vampires are. And I can never freaking find it. Where the hell is it? It's got to be back in this section, surely. Hello? Secret wall? Where are you? I... Did we go in here? I think so? I... <laughs> it's right there! I walked past it like a bunch of times. Oh god, I hate myself. I'm so damn blind. Like, that that was pretty blatant. That's not like the really hard to see Paul Chains and Skyrim. That was pretty damn easy to see. Right, so where the hell are these secret vampires? I'm coming for you, you son of a bitch. Stones of justice. Yeah, so go on that. That's right, guys. You keep sneaking, even though I just threw a bunch of stones at the guy. Like, I'm pretty sure he knows we're here. Okay, that was weird. And you are dead. Sit down. And what do you have? Holy shit. Damn. You've got, like, every type of arrow under the sun. How much archery were you planning to do, Robin Hood? My god. That's insane. Like I say, I, I, there was a skeleton we found with something similar, but not quite to that ridiculous extent. I feel like that's some kind of weird bug with the Francesco's overhaul to the archery. Like it's just given them a ton of arrows. Because we also find a bunch of enemies now and then. Oh, hello, buddy. I'm guessing you're like the leader. The leader of the pack. Brum, brum. But uh, yeah, we found a skeleton that had a bunch. So. I'm thinking that's just some kind, of, some kind of weird bug with Francesco's overhaul, because we also have occasionally found, like, particularly mages, always seem to have just tons of potions on them, so... Yeah, I don't know what up with that, but... I'm not gonna complain about it, it's free booty! And we got a note, so I guess we should probably read that and get some backstory on what the hell is going on around here. Just try to check, see if there's anything good underneath these people. Buddy, move. I'm trying to check this dagger. Eh, it's not that great, but it's light, so we'll take it. Okay, anyway, let's read this note very quickly. Hopefully it won't be long as boars. It's kind it's not that bad, I guess. Screw it, we'll read it anyway. My name is... Dave. My companion's names are Fred, Bert, and Ernie. Yeah, we'll go with it. Why can't Oblivion just do that with the names? It would be so much simpler. The vampire Dreddick died by our hands, but the price was dear. Those into whose hands we have fallen, we thank you, and pray your favor. We serve Lady Azura. Bring these our last words to her shrine. We pray, sir, with the full fountain of our devotion. Our destinies were written in the stars, that our souls and reason be slain, and our world lost forever. Okay... None can escape her fates, but let us be remembered at her shrine, and in the hearts of her servants. It is only by fate that any life ends, and only by chance that it is mine, not yours. Okie dokie, don't really understand that, but whatever. So, they killed a vampire, and they all became vampires. The end. Anyway, let's go back to the shrine. What's up, girl? I'm back. I killed them all mercilessly. You're welcome. Thank you, mortal. Their spirits are free. And henceforth, above my shrine, five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. Hey, I can actually see the candles. For your service, take this token that your deeds might be entered in the Book of Fate. They damn well better be, I'm saving us all over the place. And we got the Zura Star, unsurprisingly, which allows you to... It's like a permanent soul gem that doesn't break, basically. And I think it works for maybe Black Souls as well in this game. I know there's like two versions of it in Skyrim, where one's for Black Souls, one's for Whites. I think this one does both, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.